Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome to this Let's Play of Caesar 3. Our city has at least stabilized, that's good. We're even making money, which is even better. Let's see if we can erase the scores we need. That's next. I believe we're getting close to the peace requirement. Culture, yeah, not enough academies. I think I'll wait until we actually have the pops for it. Or at least expect that there's still have room for people to move in. Yeah, people are still moving in here. You can see the cars coming in. the surroundings. Can I do anything about that? Let's see if I can just make some, some of these, maybe some plazas. Will that be enough? It will be enough. Good. That's a few more plots of housing. employees. I want to be a bit careful in expanding the city further. Kind of concerned that I might have to do some trickeries in order to raise the uh, prosperity. We might actually have to create a furniture industry, which is not exactly what I want to do. Because if I do that, we're going to have a lot more people, which means we're going to have to grow a lot more food, which means we're going to need more people to grow the food, and yeah. And we don't have room to build anymore. Anywhere. So yeah, I've completely forgotten. What is the Oracle again? Um, tiny little building. Let's build one. What will we do? Uh, becomes more desirable and pleases all the gods. Oh! Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so you need... Okay, fine. So you need marble to uh, actually build the oracle things, but... Okay. Okay, so as long as you have access to marble, these can actually be quite beneficial because they don't seem to require priests. Yeah, fine, so that actually doesn't generate walkers, but it will please the gods. And that's good. Requires marble. Huh. So we have some choices. We can import. No, 
we won't need it. By the looks of things, we won't need it. I was thinking about importing timber or furniture for boosting the population, but that would kind of... yeah. Having to rely on imported goods for city development, it's very hit and miss, since you can't control which markets uh, pick up which goods. And I believe even city dwellings that don't actually require, say, pottery, will still consume it, so... So there's that problem. And that's gonna... You're gonna, you're gonna notice that when you get the, the towns that require uh, pottery imports. Or even worse, food imports. And those are gonna be pretty difficult to get off the ground. At least now all the values are going up pretty high. We're not gonna have to wait for the next uh, favor, probably. I suppose we can send this a gift. Okay, 66. 60. Okay, fine. Uh, peace, that's gonna go pretty soon. Prosperity is already okay. Need more academies for our cult academies. Not that one. Don't know if we really have the population for it, but okay, fine. Academy there. I suppose we could plop down a few homes there. And here. Uh, why not a barber? Should also increase our culture rating. by the looks of it, but I don't think we're gonna switch around anything right now. Just gonna try to get all the numbers up here. I don't think we have too many... Uh, 23 short, that's fine. Making money. Uh, yeah, we need another festival. something here? Huh. Okay, so we still have a vacancy over there. Hmm. Thought for sure there was something here. Earlier. Oh well. Really? Well, that actually works out then because there's this plot available here. So. That should give library access to everybody. Liborari! Well, actually, not this. Okay, but they have an academy, that should be better. Sea sickness bearable. <laughs> There's sea a sickness. Of here. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna complain about workers, 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 whoever I talk to, so. Greetings, Captain. Your 
Greetings. I'm new to this place. Do you know of anywhere to live? I'll tell you what. It'd be quicker to push these goods to Rome than where I'm going. No sign of crime around here. <laughs> we are getting more people in the small little hovels that we put up here, so... Also could squeeze in another. We could squeeze in another home down there. Okay, so now we need to export fruit, which we are in dire uh, shortage of. Uh, fine stockpile. How short are we? Seven employees. Okay, culture, theaters this time. I would have thought you pretty much all of you had access to theaters, but okay. Also good check. Theater access. Perfect there. All you guys have access. Everybody here has access. Even some of the poor poor sods in the way out into the burrows have access. I mean look there. <laughs> oh there's actually a tiny little bit of road back there. Just in case this farm actually used that road as an access point. I don't think they did, but just in case, should remove it. Yeah, growing the city this much is basically sh we're shooting ourselves in the foot because the larger the city gets, the more coverage we need and the more workers we need and then we need more people and yeah, it spirals upwards rather quickly. That's the problem right now. So we'll see what we do once we get this. Uh, once we get Caesar's favor up and running. That plus, of course. Uh, the peace rating. Prosperity is fine. Peace is getting there. Favor is gonna get there as well. But I just want to talk to my citizens and get something other than unemployment because I know. This city isn't too bad, really. Well, what do you know? Everything seems to be working well. Salutations. Life here is all right, isn't it? The cities go. This one seems okay. My goodness, they're not complaining. Salutations. Life here is all right, isn't it? He's stealing my word. A city's got. I'll tell you what. It'd be quicker to push these goods to Rome than where I'm going. Will that be a shave or a trim, citizen? Life here is all right, isn't it? No sign of crime around here. This city is a reasonable place. <laughs> And that's about as content as I'll ever get, I think. It's a reasonable place. Hmm. Don't tell me the house there. There's just enough room for one, so... I wonder, can I put a house there? I can, because it's within two squares of roads, so it'll actually have road, road access, even though it's not really adjacent to one. I'm going to plant down a few houses here as well. Squeeze in homes where I can. Okay, 
It looks like we have enough to dispatch. Actually, oh, 15. Never mind then. I still need more, more fruit. I forgot to start another festival, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So, next one's gonna be for Mars. Oh yeah, and just because I can. Let's clear this one else. I deserve a little mansion, right? Of course, it's way misplaced, but it should be near wherever we're supposed to improve the local surroundings of. Basically, in the more fashionable areas of town, but yeah. Hopefully, we'll get workers. And yeah, good, now we have enough to dispatch Caesar's request. Let's do that, and we'll switch over to here. I think I want to export over four units. Actually, eight. I want a bit of them stockpiled. Let's see the peace rating. I have a suspicion that it only goes up at the end of the year. We'll soon find out. Exports. Okay, all the wheat is being exported, not much fruit. Nearly all the marble, nearly all the pottery. So we're certainly producing enough wheat now. And that's good. We even have some unemployment. Which is actually okay. And I don't want to go overboard with uh, trying to uh, fulfill the culture rating until I've fulfilled the peace rating. So I'm just gonna have to wait for a while for that one. Peace rating, and I also want to see uh, Caesar's favor rating. Okay, so since we have access to marble, we could actually build a ton of these little oracles. Placate our citizens that way. Or placate the gods at the very least. Do we need road access for it? Let's find out. Do I need road access? Can we just pop one down in the middle here? No, it doesn't need road access. Okay, never mind then. So it can't work like a statue. So not some pretty statues. Oh my, look at that fashionable bow. <laughs> Upgrade the graphics, because of the desirability of the area. Peace rating is now finally where it should be. Prosperity is fine, we're gonna have to deal with... Mm. With a culture rating. Theaters, huh? But you're only requiring num the number of theaters, so... Drop one down there, and we probably need another actor colony. Somewhere. And now we're complaining about schools. Fairly certain you're, you have coverage. Yeah, plenty of coverage. So that exactly isn't the problem. But that was actually a bad choice not to think about it. Let's put it 
here instead because then we can at least create the second road. We can push the road if need be. Okay, then we've got our culture up to 40. Caesar still hasn't acknowledged our gift of fruit, so we have some favor to gain there. Now I'm complaining about academies, and that's worse because we can't really uh, plop those down as easily. There we go. Right, this one was emptied out, so we can tear down that warehouse over there. That one isn't necessary. Um, nor are these actually. Okay, so let's do some slight engineering. Like so. It's gonna be a bit of a weird place there. That's fine. Uh, we wanted the academy. There we go. That's actually quite sufficient. Cult rating is now 50. Prosperity is fine. That's fine. The favor is not fine. Uh, but that should be fa a fairly quick fix. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I think it's going to be enough. Let's see. Dispatch modded gift. We only need two. Yeah. Perfect. So that should be all the criteria. There we go. We could continue ruling just to build up our uh, funds, but I think we'll just take the promotion. Taraku's food exports got the Empire through a dark period. Citizens owe you their lives, and governors their jobs. Harvests are now returning to normal. And I have a new use for your talents. Okay. So let's see. Fifth assignment. Largely peaceful province. Miletus. Or very dangerous province. <laughs> I wonder, do we want to try to do some military stuff instead? Looks like elephants. Could it be Hannibal? Um, 220 BC. Is that too soon for Hannibal? I don't recall. No, I don't think it is, but um, Mediolanum, yeah, that should be up there. Um, still, I don't know. I think I'll go with a largely peaceful province. I'm sort of itching to go for a more military province, just so I can get access to the gatehouse and start building uh, isolated neighborhoods by using that, but still, I will go with the peaceful stuff. Our recent expansion in the east must continue, now that the Greeks have reluctantly joined our empire. You are to establish Miletus as a great new city. Miletus is key to bringing Asia under Roman rule, as well as being the gateway to many other beckoning lands, from Egyptus to Syria. Create a city on the Lycian coast. I expect you to achieve levels of culture and prosperity beyond what you've done so far. The peoples of the East must clearly see the benefits of Roman rule. One small obstacle is the lack of farmland in this province. However, Miletus affords Roman citizens a new way to make a living. At Miletus, you will pioneer fishing. Romans have always been hesitant mariners. Although we do set sail to conquer overseas enemies and spread our empire to far shores, we Romans prefer to keep our feet dry. No Roman city has ever fished for its food on a large scale. You will change that. Miletus has abundant fishing grounds. You can spot them by the seabirds circling overhead. Build a shipyard to construct fishing boats. 
Fishing boats do not work out of the shipyard. To provide crews and to process their cargoes, build wharves. One wharf can serve only one fishing boat, so you must build a new wharf for every new fishing vessel that your shipyard builds. Wharf workers will take fish to the granary, where it can be distributed just like any other food. Oh, by the way, although this is a peaceful province, Peaceful is a relative term when you get this far away from Rome. You should be ready for minor trouble. Pay attention to any reports of enemy activity and be ready to defend your city. Walls and towers backed up by a legion or two ought to be quite sufficient. Okay, okay. So we might still have access to the gatehouse after all. But this city will be a lot larger. 5,000 pop and fairly high ratings. So we'll see. And more to the point, there's no food here. As he told us. Oh my, look at the dry and bleak lands. There are some tufts here. Um, does that mean we can actually farm something? Okay, so there's a very limited farming area. For fruit and olives, was that it? Yeah. Uh, but that's about it. Most of our food will have to come from fisheries. Out like here. Somewhere. Uh, the problem is that they require a lot of infrastructure to set up, I think. And they also require a f flat coastline. Unlike this buckle line. This seems good. Hmm. What else? Yeah, shipyards and wharves, we have to build those. Yes, we can build gatehouses now, so we can at least try to curb our workers' routes. That's good. Uh, what other resources do we have on the map? We can mine for iron. Presumably near these rock outcroppings. Yeah, okay. And we can cut timber. Not that there is much in terms of forest here. Huh. And then there's water. And this isn't fresh water. <laughs> At least I assume it wouldn't be, but I think it still would still count. I mean, water is water in this game, so I don't actually have to connect from this one only, as far as I can tell. Ooh, zebras. Other than that, we seem to have access to all the buildings we've encountered before. So, what about workshops? Oil, weapons, furniture, and pottery. Hmm. Well, they're very limited exports, won't we? Let's see. Athena will buy fish, which will have plenty. And they'll buy oil. So, we might have to use our farms to support that. And the other city will buy weapons, but in very small quantities. And are these the only trade routes we have? By the looks of it, yes. Okay, um... What about imports? I mean, we're gonna need clay, we could mm, harvest that here, so we need clay to make pottery. Clay and pottery can be imported from Corinthus. That's fine then. Again, in very small quantities. And this is going to be a challenge. And you'll sell us wheat, which we're definitely going to need. Yeah, I'm kind of worried here. I mean, we're going to struggle to make the food. That's one thing. We can't make pottery. Not locally. We'll have to import clay and then we'll do, do some limited transitioning there. Furniture is for local industry only. Oil can be, yeah, that's... Ugh. Worse still, they'll pro the uh, Caesar will probably demand fruit. So I can't use these small limited arable lands just for the olive oil. 
it's gonna be a challenge. I'm gonna hope that we're we basically gonna have to sustain ourselves on weapons exports, as far as I can tell. And I don't know how we're gonna put a city up to 5,000 pop <laughs> without access to pot local pottery. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do, but that'll be another time. It's time for a break. Thank you for watching.